Hi, welcome to our today's training session called Assessment, a Total Overview. Just a heads up, if you are someone new to the platform and would like to get a basic understanding of design, distribute, and reports, then I would suggest seeing the Getting Started with Sogolytics training session. In this session, we are going to be focused on the assessment tool and the different features you have within the assessment tool. My name is Abdul Samad, and I'm a part of the customer support team here at Sogolytics. So over here, we are going to be discussing the differences between building a survey versus an assessment. So as you all can see on the screen, we have scores versus weights, ability to mark correct and incorrect answer options, time limits, group questions by categories. In an assessment tool, we get the ability to assign points to the correct answers and you can mark the answers as correct or incorrect. Then you get the ability to set time limits and you can choose to display it to the participant. You can also group questions by categories and show category level scores and percentages. From a reporting standpoint, the assessment tool is more focused on the individual report as compared to the cumulative report. Another interesting feature is that you get the ability to show custom results page at the end of the assessment to the participant once they hit the submit button. We will talk more on these things within the platform. I'll just go ahead and share my screen within the platform. Okay, so right now we are on the home screen and below you can see our recent projects. So you will see uh, assessment written over here if if the project type is assessment and it will say survey or CX if it's a survey or a CX project type. Now for, for this session, I've created two assessments. Uh, this one has a few responses to it and this one is in edit state. So we will go ahead and first look at this one and for reporting, uh, from reporting standpoint, we will have a look at the, at the reports within this assessment. I'll just go ahead and edit this one. So right now I'm in the design module and within design, I'm right now in designer. So uh, the, the first two differences that you will notice is that the background color is purple as compared to survey. In survey, it's blue in color and you get the assigned scores option, which is not there in a survey tool. Then within options, uh, you, get, you get two more options. So within display options, you get the ability to set time limits and this is called results page over here, whereas it's called thank you page within the survey tool. Okay, so I've created an assessment that has uh, questions. So it has some questions related to maths. Then I've got some geography questions, science questions, and finally some general knowledge questions. So I've used different, different question types to, to create this assessment. And you can also only put scoring variables to close ended questions. So if I, if I drop like a text box over here, it gives me a pop up saying that you won't be able to score. All right, so let's go, let's go to assigned scores. Okay, so we are right now in the assigned scores. And on the left hand side, these are the categories that I had created. And these are all the questions that I have in in my assessment. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and reset this one and uh, we'll, we'll create the categories again. Okay, so you will see the questions and answer options and over here you can assign points. You can give a positive answer, positive points to the correct answer and you can also give negative points for incorrect answers. But in this example, I will just assign uh, positive points. Now on the left hand side, you will see all questions and beside that you, you get, you will see a settings button. So I'll click on that. And uh, I will enable all these three options. So I also get the ability to score uh, mark correct and incorrect and also score. I can assign scores for all correct answers over here. So I'll just give 10 points for all correct answers and click on done. 
So when I click over here, it will automatically assign the score that I had set over there. For multi-select questions, what you can do is, uh, if exactly all correct answers op uh, options are selected, then you can give 10 points and you can have partial scoring if they, if any incorrect answer option is selected. I'll just save this and it's asking me to create categories. So we you know that on page two, I have questions related to maths. Then on page three, I have questions related to geography, science, finally some general knowledge questions. So I've marked the questions as correct and incorrect. I've created the categories. Another option that you get over here is the ability to assign weights. Within, within assign weights, uh, when you click on that, it, it opens a model where you can see all four categories. So what it does is it equally divides the category weight by four. So in this case, it's 25, 25, 25, and 25. Now let's say, for example, if I feel that maths should have more weight so i can give it a weightage of 50 and then i need to the total should be equal to 100 so i need to remove uh, from other categories what this means is basically if someone gets both the answers correct in maths then the percentage that they will uh, be shown out of 100 would be 50 percent I'll just reset this and save it. Okay, so now we are going to move on to our next option, uh, which is under display options. In an assessment, you, you get the ability to set time limits. So I over here where it says, do you want to set a time limit for this assessment? I will, uh, I will enable it. And I need to enter the time limit in minutes. I can also choose to show the timer in the participation page. Then we will go in results page. Now, by default, you have a static thank you message, but you can also choose to show custom results messages. So how this works is basically uh, you have you have different criteria over here, and you can add more criteria if you want. Uh, let's say. Now, this is the default criteria that is shown over here. So I can edit this as well. And uh, I can give a criteria label. Then these are the different conditions based on which I can show the message. So it's based on score, percentage, weighted percentage. Then you have uh, all the different categories shown here. So you have uh, category level score and percentage as well. Number of correct answers, incorrect answers. Now, let's say if percentage obtained is greater than or equal to 40, I would want to show this message. And you can also pipe in the values over here. So let's say if you would want to pipe in score related to different categories, then you can pipe in the score and percentages as well. And below I have another criteria. So it says if percentage obtained is less than 40, then show this message. You can even create a custom condition. So let's say you have multiple conditions. And show some message and so when I add more than one condition, you get the ability to choose if you would want to match all conditions, match any conditions or use a custom combination of conditions. It's just like and or logical operators. Now below you have the option to show category score graph on the results page as well. So I will enable this and save it. Let's now do a quick preview and see how, how this looks on, on the participation side.
So this is the results page. It it gives me the header message. Then it gives me a custom message over here since the percentage obtained was greater than forty. This is the photo message, and below I can see a category level graph. You also get the ability to add these two elements, so you can let them view the response. You can also let them give them the ability to print result. So these are all the options within design. Now we'll we'll take a look at the at the reports module. So we will be going in the reports module for this project as this one has some responses. When I when I go in the reports module, it will generate an Omni report. But uh, from an assessment standpoint, we are more interested in an in individual response. So this is a cumulative report. But for assessment, I will generate these two reports. So first, I will go ahead and generate an individual report within raw data. Now, this, this has three steps. So you can choose to select all question and generate the report right away. But uh, if you go through all the steps, you get different options. So the first thing is that you can show questions in categories. So now I'll select all the questions and I can also show category level scores percentages now on the next step you can include incomplete responses suppose if you have uh, save and continue later enabled in your assessment then uh, they can partially save their data and you can choose to include that in the report as well on the last page, you can put filters on uh, on one of the questions or metadata within your assessment. But for now, I won't add any filters, and I'll just go ahead and generate it right away. So this is how an individual report looks. You get different options over here as well, like you get the ability to download this report in Word or Excel. Uh, so the report starts from here. You've got response number, uh, email address if you distribute it using single use link. Then participation time, date and time. Then you've got uh, total maximum possible score, total uh, score earned out of 100, percentage and correct and incorrect answers data. Then uh, I can see for the first respondent, I can see the question and what, what all answer options they had selected. Now, if I, if I edit this and uh, enable all these properties, I'll get some more information. As well, so I'll hit apply. Okay, so once you've enabled all these options, uh, you will see the assessment graph uh, shown over here. So for this particular respondent, uh, this is the this is a graph uh, based on category, and it's it's a percentage graph. And below you can see the same graph, but there is also uh, a benchmark, an average score of uh, all the all the responses for comparison. And then you can uh, also see a uh, tick mark over here for all the correct answers. And uh, you can see the points they got and the maximum possible score for that particular category as well. All right, so we will go ahead and now generate an assessment summary report. This is also like an individual report, uh, but it's in, uh, it's in rows and columns, so you get you get a table and you, you get the ability to view all, all the responses together. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and check all these options. Okay, so the assessment summary report starts from here. You've got all the questions as columns and all the responses uh, as rows, so you'll be able to see the scores each individual has got. Uh, you can export this in Excel, and if you're not sure what the answer options were for for the questions, you can always see by clicking over here. Now I'll just go ahead and enable these options as well. So now you can see the the average score for this question uh, on a column level. 
column wise and uh, we can also see the match average individual score over here and if you want to see the average score for all the questions and you can scroll to the right and you will see it over here so average individual score And over here, it gives you like an average total score and average total percentage uh, when we enable this option. So this is like an average of all the responses. Okay, so these were all the options within the assessment tool. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us on support one at sobolytics.com. Thank you for joining.